Hello everyone, welcome back to another painting tutorial. In this video I'm going to paint night on chain rasps. Here are the colors that I'm going to use. Bear in mind they are not in order. However, I will go through one by one in the video. You can also find it in the description below. The miniatures are fully assembled and primed in white. So for the spirit mist I'm using nylike oxide first and give a whole coat onto these areas. Then I'm using Colia Green Shade and Lamia Medium, a 1 to 3 mix. And just give a wash all over the nylike oxide areas. Once it's completely dry, I'm only using Colia Green Shade and mainly the top recess areas where it meets with the robe I am putting and also for the inside. Now that the wash is completely dry, I'm going to use Ulthon Grey and start dry brushing the bottom areas. I'm using Way Watcher Green Glaze. And applying it almost till the bottom of the miniature. With white scar, I dry brush all the bottom areas. And with this, the ghost mist is complete. I'm moving on to the hood, so I'm using Ashing Grey as a base paint and just start covering all the robe and cloth areas on the miniatures.
I am using Agrix Earthshade and wash all the ashen grey areas. Once the wash is completely dry, I'm using Steel Legion Drab and start layering on the cloth area. I'm using Storvam Infer and Karak Stone, a mix, one to one, part ratio, and start highlighting the cloth areas. I am moving on to the skin and I'm using Ionarch skin as a base paint. and also on the skull. I am giving a shade of Colia Green Shade and Lamia Medium, a 1 to 3 part mix ratio, and wash all the skin areas. With the Rhinox hide, I water it down quite heavily and just a tiny amount into the eye sockets so that to make it a bit more darker. I'm using now Deepkin Flash 
and start layering all the skin areas. I am using Palette Witch Flash as a highlight for the fingers, the knuckles, also the cheekbones and the teeth. For the chains and the sword, I use Dumble Brown as a base color, so I just start applying on all these metallic areas. I'm using Riser Rust as a dry print and dry brushing the sword and the helmet. Uh, me, I skipped the chains because it is really small detail and I really don't want to mix the already painted areas. So I just leave the chains as it is. I'm using lead belcher, same technique, uh, dry brushing on the helmet and on the sword. the chains and keys and lock lockets I layer it in a small detail brush
I am using now Vallejo Wash Rust effect and give a wash on the blade, the helmet, the chains. So that it blends together nicely. I use Stormhouse Silver and start highlighting all these metallic areas on the helmet and the sword first. I dry brush it so that it blends together nicely. After that, uh, with a small detail brush, all the sharpest edges features, um, covering it. I am using dried bark as a base paint for all the sword handles, the staff and also the hex handles. I am using Noon Oil on all the dried bark areas. Once the wash is completely dry, I am using Gorthor Brown. start highlighting all the sharpest features of the wood parts. Now I can move on to the gold details. So for this I'm using Balthazar Gold as a base paint and start base painting the candle holder On the swords I'm using on the cross guard and also on the pommel. I apply a coat of Agrax Earthshade on all the gold areas. and I'm finishing it with Retributor Armor. I give a highlight on all these gold areas.
I'm using Cantor Blue on the candles so I'm start base painting On the flame I'm using Hex Wraith Flame and cover the whole flame area. If it's mixed a tiny bit with the counter blue area it's not a big problem. On the candles I'm using Rust Grey now as a highlight. And with Baharoth Blue, I give a extra fine highlight on the candles. On the flame I'm using Uthlan Grey and start dry brushing mainly at the bottom part close to the candle. I am using Collier Green Shade now and as you can see I'm holding the miniature upside down so that the wash it flows more towards the end, the tip of the flames, each flames. I'm using Waywatcher Green now and same technique because I'm more focused towards the end, the tip, like halfway, more than halfway, I cover all the flames. with Lamenter's yellow I'm using it on three, three quarters of the, each flames so just to get that nice transition to have 
a tiny bit of ultron gray showing and by doing this the miniatures are actually complete Now it is entirely optional how you base your miniatures, but me I'm using Astro Granite Texture and then just applying it onto the bases. I'm using Mechanic Standard Grey and base paint all the gravestones and stones. I'm using Noon Oil, I need just on the Astro Granite areas. I'm giving a first layer. After the first is dry, I'm applying a second one. I'm using Agrax Earth Shade on the gravestones and stones. Following it with a thorny and camera shade, but with this like halfway from the bottom, so just to get that moist effect. Once all these shades are completely dry, I mean, going back with mechanical standard gray and dry brushing all these areas. Following it with tombstone, same technique, dry brushing, but this time slightly a bit lighter. And finishing it with Administratum Grey, same technique, dry brush, but very gently, just some of the most important areas.
I decided to blend the base with the minis with nylac oxide and where the base meets with the spirit mist I apply a quite light coat on these areas I use a button black on all the rim of the bases. I put randomly placed Mortheim turf grass on these bases and with this it is fully complete. If you enjoy the contents I make Please subscribe to my channel. With this current situation I have more time on my hands and I'm trying to upload videos weekly. If you want to see more pictures of my works visit my Instagram page NerdSum. For sneak peeks or what can be the next video tutorial about. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.